Hey everyone, it's me. It is time for TTC Thursday. So as most of you know, we are in cycle 16. Today I am cycle day 19 of cycle 16. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the trying to conceive lingo, real quick, uh, a cycle is the start of your menstrual period through the start of the next menstrual period. So like the first day of your period is day one, and then you count the days from there. And most women have 28 to 32 days in their typical cycle before their period starts again and the next cycle starts again. I'm in the middle of cycle 16, which means it's been 16 tries since we started trying to have a baby. For those of you who do better with time frames, next month in February, it will be a year and a half exactly since we started trying for our second child. So, um, yeah, so that's where we're at today. I am cycle day 19, so I have most likely ovulated at this point. This cycle, we're not using OPKs, we're not tracking temperature, we're not doing soy, we're not doing anything. Um, like, no tests, no charting, no nothing. So I only know what cycle day I'm on because I went back to my calendar and I counted so I could tell you what cycle day I'm on and tell you I have most likely ovulated at some point in the past four days or so. Maybe I haven't ovulated yet. I have no idea what's going on with my body this cycle. Honestly, nor do I really care. Um, next cycle, we're going to start tracking and charting again, but I just needed to give my body a break. So for the past three cycles, we've just been like laying low and just kind of going with the flow and doing whatever and not really putting charting in priority. We've just been kind of letting it go. So uh, that's kind of where we're at so far this cycle. Uh, the past two days I've had some really heavy noticeable vaginal discharge. Sorry for the TMI there. Um, but it's been very egg white. So I'm thinking I may be ovulating a little bit late this cycle. Um, uh, I guess, um, just on a little side note here, um, that's sort of trying to conceive related, but not really. Today is the one year anniversary of our second miscarriage with our little baby Fox. I found out I was pregnant on New Year's Eve last year and then, uh, lost the pregnancy on the 9th. It was a, just like a chemical pregnancy. I wasn't far along at all. It wasn't like a real miscarriage according to my doctor but we still count it as a pregnancy loss. So we spent nine days really excited about this baby and then boom, it kind of didn't really work out. Um, I have vlogs up from that a ways back. Um, so yeah, it's been one year exactly since we lost that pregnancy and it doesn't feel like a year, but at the same time, it feels like 10 years. Like it feels like so long ago, but it also feels like just yesterday. It's a really weird feeling. Um, but um, in the past year since the miscarriage, we've had one more uh, miscarriage and uh, obviously no sticky positives. I thought for sure we'd be pregnant with our rainbow baby by now, but uh, we only added one more angel to the group. Um, hopefully 2014 brings us our BFP that sticks and turns into our miracle rainbow baby. I have my fingers and toes and eyelashes and butt cheeks crossed. I want this so bad, you guys. I want this so bad. Um, but yeah, uh, that's really it for TTC stuff. My original goal was to have two children under the age of two. I always wanted two under two. And then I was like, all right, well, I'll make my goal two under three. Well, I have to get pregnant within the next three cycles for me to get that goal. And if not, they'll be more than three years apart. So kind of under pressure, but at this point, whatever happens, happens. And if I don't get two children under the age of three, fine. As long as I get two children at this point, I'm happy <laughs> as long as I get another one. Um, we want three to four kids total, but since it's such a struggle just getting two, I may just be happy with two. I mean, this is exhausting. It is honestly the most exhausting journey I have ever been on. And it's so full of heartbreak and disappointment and just self-doubt and just feeling like a failure because my body isn't doing what it's supposed to do. And just, I mean, real talk, trying to conceive sucks ass sometimes. Like it really does. I know in the end it'll all be worth it, 
But really, these are things that people don't tell you when you first start trying. Sometimes people can make it seem like all rainbows and butterflies and like everything's going great all the time and there's no disappointment. But really, there's an ugly side to trying to conceive and it really sucks sometimes and it's really hard. So, um, hopefully I don't have to do this for too much longer and hopefully our rainbow is right around the corner. Um, but yeah, that's it for my trying to conceive update uh, for now. Um, next week I'll probably be in the middle of my two week wait and then the week after, so I think the 23rd of January is going to be the date. I'm going to take a test and I will film it if my period hasn't come by then. If it's come, obviously I'll be in a new cycle, no need to take a test. But two weeks from today, um, I'll be taking a live pregnancy test if my period hasn't come. So fingers crossed that it's positive. <laughs> Although I'm doubtful. I, I'm always doubtful. But hey, that's just how it works, I guess. Uh, but thank you all for watching and until next time, bye.